Hey everybody, welcome to Biggie's YouTube channel. This is Biggie. Um, hopefully everybody's doing well. It's coronavirus stuff going on. So, uh, hopefully you're well. A couple of videos back I talked about a choke setup. About a manual choke and electric choke. I'm going to take this opportunity to kind of explain how they're the same but different. And then if you're in that position where you have a carburetor and you're looking at doing the choke, you're at that part of your build, or you just want clarification, or have any questions, I just figured I would do this quick video. So we're going to get down to it here. So what we're going to do, I'm going to first talk, talk to you about the differences. Obviously, the difference between manual choke and electric choke is look at the name manual obviously it's it's a hand controlled device in this case it's a cable usually mounted under the dash somewhere um, it's just you know something you slide in and out with a knob and you adjust it and usually what I like to do is I put a nut on both sides so I have a, a nut that I use to adjust full choke and then I have another nut that I have on that I pull I use as a stop for when choke is completely off which is what you would do you would take full choke off at operating temperature and obviously you would have full choke when cold start and then as you as the engine runs you could slowly keep pulling that cable incrementally out until finally you have your choke completely off and you can always tell when the choke is on or off too much because the, the, the engine will start to run rough. Now, that's manual choke explained. Electric choke, obviously, you need to find ignition, uh, 12 volt ignition. So you're going to run, so basically your, your electric choke, basically the heart of it is a round spiral bimetal spring that uh, it's two pieces of metal that are actually put together and they react differently to temperature so what happens is is the one shrinks and the one expands when it's cold and as it warms up they do opposite when they get warm so that's how when it's cold it should have the choke fully engaged and then when it gets up to temperature it gets the heat in it it's going to take the choke fully off so that we have no choke at all so basically what you're going to do is like we're, we're we're back here with our with our 600 holly here so as you see that's full choke now this has as you can see this has a manual choke there's a spot here right here where you're going to put your cable in for your manual choke so you have your your um your your full choke is here and then as you drive the, your car or run the engine, as it warms up, you're going to pull that cable. Eventually, you're going to get to the point where you're at no choke at all when you're at operating temperature. And the electric choke works the same way, um, except it uses a bimetal spring. Now, important thing to do when you're setting up the choke for a niche, when you're either doing a manual choke or the electric choke okay so I explain to you now let's stop here from I'm getting ahead of myself I apologize um, <clears throat> that's the differences between manual and electric choke obviously manually as you do it manually like I said earlier the electric choke obviously you need to find a ground and you have to find 12 volt ignition power to plug into the respective places so it can activate that spring and it do its magic now for a choke to work properly you can have too much choke too little whatever and it's going to cause drivability issues cold start uh, could cause if you uh, an issue uh, when you're at operating temperature if the chokes not all fully it could run on the ridge side so uh, a neat thing I learned over the years when you adjust it is you don't you would think this is full choke and that's too much. So what I what I was told to do is would take your it's a real high tech tool you can buy. 
Um, you can get them at the dollar store. It's called a pencil. I know it sounds stupid, but watch. You're like, Eric, you flipped your fucking lid. I probably did years ago. This is what you do. Take your, take your number two pencil, and what you're going to do is you're going to stick that thing like that into your carburetor, and it's going to leave a gap. Now, you're going to set up here. That's your full choke setting right there. That's where you see that little bit of air there because you don't want to close air off completely because you still need air for combustion you use a number two pencil and you stick it in there you set that up for your full choke once you do that you can take the pencil out and then obviously you want to check that you have full choke operation which you do because it's completely up and down as you can see there that's your choke completely off so you can start with that adjustment on your choke now manual choke you have a, a, a set screw here um, where the I'm trying to get it in the camera sorry uh, there's a set screw here and then where the cable goes through okay so basically what you're going to do is you feed that cable you you you, you set the cable where you want your full choke to be you tighten that screw you make you make your a stop there and then you can also do the um, then once you do that you want to make sure that at full travel you have the choke completely off now I don't have an electric choke housing to show you but I'll try my best to explain it so when you put the electric choke on it's going to go at the same place. You're going to unbolt these these three here, and then it goes there. Same same thing, same principle. So, what you're going to do is you're going to run your positive wire, which is your 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 12 volt ignition voltage. You're going to run obviously to your red wire. Black wires you want to run into a good ground. So, okay, that's basically all you're going to do. That's your electric. It's simple, not real hard. Now, on some of them, I know it should be on all of them it's a back is a cast aluminum housing it's like a silverish color and you have a black plastic part it's two pieces the springs inside of there okay but if you look on a cast aluminum housing you're going to see some lines as it comes down around this the the, the I'm going to say the perimeter or whatever and then there's like in the middle there's like a an arrow you're going to see on the cast aluminum part you're going to see the same thing on the plastic part and a lot of a lot of places what they'll do is they'll line those arrows up and they'll just take that as okay that's set that's it wrong what you want to do is with the engine cold okay you loosen up the outer housing the black plastic piece I think that's the, it, it, I get it for I would call it a cover for lack of a better term and then what you're going to do is, like I did, take your number two pencil and stick it at at at, at your um, the back side of your choke. In other words, you don't want to do it where it opens. That does you want to do it on the back side because it's going to the way it op the opposite of where where it opens. Obviously, is where you're going to stick the pencil. The opposite, in other words, where your opening is, you're going to have it on the tail or the opposite end. Okay, I don't know if that helps clarify, but work to work to choke and if you have if you can figure out which end of the fork to use to eat you'll probably figure out where to put the pencil but anyway use the pencil okay and what you're going to do is you're going to rotate that housing you know with those arrows those arrows are going to move up or down okay and we want to have that choke set up for a cold start using the number two pencil and if you do that and you hook up your your electric wires in the way they should be your electric choke should work good your manual choke should work good like I said the, ma the manual choke and the electric choke work on the same principle it's the same theory same principle you set them up the same way the difference in electric choke and man as opposed to manual choke is the way in which you um, you 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 apply or disengage the choke 
you know some of the old school people old school guys or they like the manual they don't like the mess of the electrical shit too much so maybe they like the manual and that's fine and I was gonna do a manual on 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 the shit hawk um, some guys they like the idea of hey I don't even have to think about it I just stick the key in and I crank the car and it starts up and it takes care of itself and that's fine there's there's not necessarily is one worse than the other or better than the other that's just the way they are so um, if you have a carburetor and you're looking at adjusting the choke and you're always wondering okay how do I know if it's right basically what you do is you set it up with a number two pencil on that choke blade and you put it on the back side of the choke blade and that's where you adjust it and I've had pretty good luck with doing it that way and it's pretty simple to do too I mean it's a number two pencil who doesn't have one of those anyway I hope it helps I hope it helps you understand the theory of the choke and how it can help your drivability become better if you're rebuilding a carburetor or if you have one that just, that's giving you the shits hopefully this will help you figure it out so um, everybody watch out for each other take care of each other stay safe uh, like and subscribe uh, would appreciate it and uh, we'll see you next time on Biggie's YouTube channel take care now